Igbos of Jamaica and the untold story of the 1815 Igbo slave rebellion in Black River. From the year 1690 to 1902, over 850,000 slaves, from the Bight of Biafra, were sold by the Arros through the Calabar slave port route. About 80% of these slaves were said to be Igbos. Most of the slaves from this route were taken to the northwestern side of Jamaica to work in plantations. To date, many Jamaicans of Igbo descent can be found there. The Red Igbo, or Red Ebo, were used to refer to the Igbo slaves in Jamaica because of their light skin. It's little wonder there are lots of similarities between Igbo and Jamaican culture, dance, mannerisms, folklore, cuisine, religion, language and even music. Let's start with the similarities between the Igbo language and the Jamaican Patois language. The Jamaican Patois language has some exact words and borrowed words from the Igbo languages, they include the following. Mbag which means yam known as himba in Jamaican Patois. Iro Anya, known as cutting eye in Jamaican Patois. Potopoto means mud also known as potopoto in Jamaican Patois. Ebo as ebo in Jamaican Patois. Anya Wukwu which means greed is known as big eye in Jamaican Patois. Atu which means chewing stick is known as atu in Jamaican Patois. Akara which means bean cake is known as akara in Jamaican Patois. So so. The word means only, both in Igbo and Patois. Anya Ukwu, the word means greed is known as big eye in Jamaican Patois. Domat, domat is a loose and also a direct translation of the Igbo phrase onu uzo which means door mouth domat. Anu, anu means you or you people both in Igbo and Patois. Chinch, chinch means bedbug, which is called chinchi in the Igbo language. Atu, Atu means chewing stick, which comes from the Igbo word, atu. Okra, okra is a vegetable. The original word is, okuru, in Igbo. Obia, means mysticism which comes from the Igbo word, abia, obia. There are also similarities in culture, they are. Pouring libation and the use of Igbo drums. Instead of using palm wine, Jamaicans are known to use rum for libation. Jonkonu Festival, this festival is practiced in other West Indian nations and it is attributed to the popular Igbo deity called Njokuji. Similarities in Proverbs. Here is a list of Jamaican proverbs similar to Igbo proverbs. In Igbo, he who will swallow a dala seeds must consider the size of his anus. In Jamaican it goes like this. Cow must know, ow, im bottom stay before, im swallow abi, twi, Palm nut, seed. In Igbo, where are the young suckers that will grow when the old banana tree dies? In Jamaican, when plantain one, dead, it shoot, sends out new suckers. In the Igbo language, a man who makes trouble for others is also making one for himself. Jamaican Patois, when you dig a hole, ditch for one, dig two. In Igbo, the fly who has no one to advise it follows the corpse into the ground. In Jamaican Patois. Sweet moot, fly follow coffin go a hole. In the Igbo language. The sleep that lasts for one market day to another has become death. In Jamaican Patois. Take sleep mark death, sleep is foreshadowing of death. The story of the Black River Igbo slave rebellion. During the transatlantic slave trade. Slaves were said to organize themselves by ethnicity. The Igbo Jamaica slaves were no different. They were known to be the fiercest, most resilient and most outspoken of all the slaves. In the year 1815 over 250 Igbo slaves in St. Elizabeth's Parish, Black River, Jamaica conspired to kill every white man in the land. The conspirators elected three fellow Igbo slaves whom they gave the title, King of the Ebos, they made the other two, captains. If not for the decision to take immediate action rather than wait until Christmas as suggested by their king, they may have been successful. The plot was discovered by an overseer who not only noticed unusual activities by the Igbo slaves but also overheard them discussing the details of their plot. The king of the Igbo Ebos, and one of the captains were eventually captured, but throughout their trial, 
They seemed unconcerned and did not deny or acknowledge any of the facts with which they were charged. One of the captains was said to have escaped by burning the prison gate before he was recaptured again. That's all for now. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. For more stories in history, hit the subscribe button and notification bell. See you later.